عزیز علیہ ما علیتم حریص علیکم بالمؤمنین روف الرحیم فَإِن تَوَلُّوا فَقُلْ حَسْبِيَ اللَّهِ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا هُوَ عَلَيْهِ تَوَقَّلْتُ وَهُوَ رَبُّ الْعَرْشِ الْعَزِيمِ وقال اللہ تعالی ما کان محمدن ابا احد من رجالکم ولیکن رسول اللہ وخاتم النبیین وقان اللہ بکل شیئن علیما ان اللہ و ملائکتہ یسلون علی النبی یا ایوہ اللذین آمنوا صلو علیہ وسلم تسلیما اللہم صلی علی سیدنا محمد ولا آل سیدنا محمد و صحاب سیدنا محمد و بارک و سلم علیہ Thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He has united us again almost after three years to remember Him in this community and remember His loved ones. This is important to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because He states in the Quran e Paak, Faskuruni Askurku. You remember me and what will happen when we will remember Him? He say, I will remember you. So, as He is going to remember us with all these, yes, we have to be here to remember Him in this world and He will remember not only in a better mahfil than this, in the mahfil of Malaika, but also he will remember us on the day of judgment, thinking that, yes, we were the ones, those who are taking the name of his prophet, Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in this world. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states in the quran e min allahi nur wa kitabun mubin. Undoubtedly, without any doubt, came among you from Allah a light and enlightening book. So there are two things that came from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to us. One is the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the form of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the book which is quran e -Pah. According to Hadith-e Qudsi, it has been said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala states that I was a hidden treasure. I willed to be known, so I created the creatures and the universe and everything in it. And when the Prophet sallallahu was asked, O Prophet sallallahu tell us what was the first creature what Allah created? The Prophet ﷺ mentioned, it was my light that was created first. It was my light which was created the first. And then from that light, Allah created the Lohe Mehfuz, the tablet, the kalam, the pen, throne, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's arsh, and the kursi, chair of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and then everything else, all the creatures were created afterwards. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows better that what was the time when all this was created. But we have been knowing that there was two things that has happened when everything was created first. And that was the first thing, that was the general meeting of all the souls and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asked all of us, am I not your Rabb? And the first soul that responded to that was the soul of Prophet sallallahu and he said, Allah, why not? And then there was a second general meeting which has been mentioned in the quran Pak that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gathered all the chosen ones, all the prophets and asked them, what he asked, why is ahazallahu misakan nabiyyin lima aditukum min kitabim wa hikmah summa jaakum rasoolum musaddikun lima maakum 
لَتُو مِلُنَّا بِلْهِ وَلَتَنْسُلُنَّا قَالَ اَأَقْرَرْتُمْ وَأَحَسْتُمْ عَلَى ذَلِكُمْ اِسْرِي قَالُوا اَقْرَرْنَا قَالَ فَشْحَدُوا وَأَنَا مَكُمْ مِنَ الشَّاهِدِينَ Allah سبحانه و تعالی He said to the prophets when Allah took a firm oath from the prophets that when I give you the book and wisdom then comes to you who comes the soul confirming the truth what you have within you and then you must believe in him and you must help him so this was one thing that was asked to all the prophets if my this final prophet Muhammad comes to you you should be believing in him and you should be helping him and what they said they said have you people agreed and upon this agreement of yours do you take my heavy responsibility all of them replied we have agreed said so all become witnesses and myself am with you among the witnesses so whoever turns away after this is indeed from the disobedient so from even Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking the all the prophets if my this prophet comes to you you should be helping this prophet so this is our prophet who came to us Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent him and if we know if we look into the miracles those happened during the time when the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam came, the mom of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Hazrat Amina, Razi Allah Ta'ala who states that I saw a nur came out of me and it was a light so much so that I saw the palaces of Syria which was hundred of, hundred of uh, miles from Mecca she see that I saw them and I saw them like it is in just in front of me so the light of the Prophet that came with the Prophet was so heavy that it passes through all the walls it passes through all the mountains it passes through all the trees and she was able to see what was hundreds of miles away from her not even that she said that when the Prophet came out, first thing what he did was he did the sajda. And after doing the sajda, he said, La ilaha illallah inni rasulullah. There is no God but Allah. And I am the Prophet of Allah. So that was the first thing what he said when he came to this world. And what happened by his blessed feet? When his blessed feet touched this earth, all this earth was clean for us. Before Muslims, the non-Muslims or the other uh, religious people, they were only able to go to synagogue or the churches to pray their prayers. But for Muslims, all the earth was cleaned out by touch of the Prophet's feet. And now we can pray our prayers anywhere without any problem. Yes, my brother is saying that your time is up. I will just stop here so we can hear from our scholars and Hari Sahib, inshallah, will be continuing from here on as it is. Wa akhru dawana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.